Hi, welcome to coding cl coding class with Master Han. And today, I'm going to uh, do part one of password of a password project. I'm sorry, password generator project. And today, I'm just going to use the Python shell and just show you what the coding concepts you need to understand in order to understand how my password generator works. But first, let me talk about what are what a bad password would be, or a bad password strategy. A bad password strategy would to be to use the same password for all your accounts. That is a really, really bad idea. Do not ever use the same password for all your accounts. Now, for accounts that are not that important, I mean, you the, the password obviously does not have to be that ha, have to be all different. But it's, especially if you are an adult and you have several different financial accounts, online accounts, because that's what we're all do now. We do a lot of uh, online transaction, financial transactions online. So it would be horrendously, horrendously bad idea to have the same password for all your financial accounts online. They should be very strong passwords. But anyway, one of the great things about knowing how to code is you can code a password generator oh by the way there are of course online password generators I highly would I highly I highly recommend you do not use an online password generator to generate a password for you at least not the whole password but anyway let's get into uh, the Python shell and go over some of the concepts you will need to understand in order to understand how my password generator works so basically, the password generator uh, I will show you in part two is very simple. It's basically it's basically based on the idea of a Chinese menu. So a Chinese menu. So the stereotypical Chinese menu would be there's a entree. You pick something from the entree uh, list of entrees. Then there would be, let's say, sides, rice. You pick, uh, you pick one of the different types of fried rice, and then maybe you would have another side, like an egg roll or fried wontons. I'm getting hungry already, already. or something, a poo poo platter. So, and then you might order a soup, hot and sour soup or egg drop soup or chicken noodle soup so something like that so you would pick let's say orange chicken and then i'm going to have the house special fried rice and i will have a, a pork egg roll and i'll have the egg drop soup so kind of like based on the chinese menu idea of a chinese menu okay so um so what we start with a password okay so let's code a password password right and we're gonna make that the empty string okay so what's inside password the empty string nothing okay it's a string but it's empty okay now let's now we want the what is the first item we're gonna pick out of our Chinese menu password so we're gonna make a list zero and let's say I put in let's say I put in uh, let's say I put some random objects list of random objects let's say they're all in the category of uh, let's say we take it from uh, Dungeons and Dragons let's say so we would have like a thief I think I spelled that correctly uh, then we could have like a warrior and then we could have like a paladin 
and then we could have a wizard. Okay, I say it okay. So then that's our first list. That's the first list of different things we can choose, right? Four possible choices. Thief, warrior, paladin, or wizard. And then the second list will have a list of, let's say, just, uh, let's say we'll have a list of different names. Okay, Rand some, some random names. Let's say like Lee, Joe, Bob, and let's do Dave. Okay, so we have... Okay, so we have list zero, we have list one, oops, list one, okay, so we have two lists so far, let's make a third list, list two, okay, and what are we going to put in this list, let's put in some uh, numbers, right, let me put some numbers, but actually they're strings, but let's say that they're numbers, okay, let's say like 33, 45, Let's say 31, oops, that was an integer. Okay, now we have a string. Okay, and then let's say uh, 67, right? Okay. So we have, okay, so we have list zero, oops, list zero. We have list one and we have list two. Okay, now I can make a password using these three different lists okay and so I'm gonna just uh, so in so in coding well, when we take different strings and we join them together or add them together we call it concatenation concatenation and basically you just use these addition symbol the addition symbol the plus sign to add them all together now you have to make sure that they are all strings you cannot mix strings with integers or floats or booleans. You have to make sure they are all strings when you concatenate. Okay, so let's say I'm going to take from list zero, I'm going to take, let's just keep it simple. Like I'm going to take the first item. Okay, so again, when we have a list, the first, the index of the first item in the list is zero. It's always zero. Okay, and then let's say I take, uh, I'm going to take from list one, I'm going to also take the first, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to concatenate, oops, I made a mistake there, I mean, oh, oops, no, nope, I oh, know, I had it right the first time. Okay, and then list two, I'm going to take also the first item. Okay, so once I hit enter, I should have uh, a password that is the first item from all three uh, from the the three lists that I've created so it should be thief Lee 33 right okay if I do a print and then we can see what the password is and we see it's right it's thief Lee 33 now of course the question is thief Lee 33 it's not a bad password. I don't think it's a great password, but but how are you going to remember this, right? I, how are you going to remember this? Just random, right? And I would assume it's not based on any of your uh, personal information, right? Hopefully your name is not Lee and you're not 33 years old and your profession is not a thief, okay? So how are you going to remember this, right? So we need to make a story or to connect these different the, the different parts of the password together right so let's say let's say there was a thief named Lee and he broke into 33 banks okay you could write down on a piece of paper a story a sentence or a story there was a thief named Lee and he broke into 33 banks, right? And then that would be a way for you to, because then you can connect the thief and Lee and 33 together, and it would help you to remember this password. Okay. Well, thank you for um, 
listening to another episode of Coding Class with Mastan. Uh, there will be, a, of course, a part two, and then I will show you the password generator Mark Zero, and I will show you how it works. But I just wanted to quickly go over the coding concepts you need to understand to understand how the password generator works. Okay, thank you, and I will uh, meet you in the next episode. Goodbye.